Bible says, you are overcome, yes. amen, the enemy by the blood and the testimony. testimony. Mm -hmm. So be, the blood creates the position, amen, that you are able to get into, enter back into right relationship with God. And your testimony is how you see the victory of the Lord in your life. Hallelujah. How it separates you from the world system that turns children against their father. Mm. How we separate you from the weakening flesh. Mm. Here's a mystery I want to give to you. Try to remember it while you want to stay away from the flesh. When Jesus was resurrected, the Bible said when he was on the cross, what happened to his blood? Hmm? It poured out. How much poured out? All of it. Mm. When he resurrected, what didn't he have? And how do we know? Thomas mm. put his hands in what? His, mm. He resurrected without blood because wow. he was in what? Spirit. Wow. Amen. This is a great victory to know. When you stay in the spirit, you'll stay away from the blood. How did one of the greatest, this is special of the humans. After God gave human this planet, he, the Bible said in Genesis, every, every tree, God put the seed of it in itself. Mm -hmm. So he put a, re, a reproductive principle in every apple tree that the apple tree can what? Reproduce, Reproduce itself. Yes. And the grape tree can? Reproduce itself. And what do you can do? Reproduce? Yes. This is one of the mystery and the power of a human being. They were responsible, God said, you understand? Fill the hurt. He said to populate the hurt. You understand? Now, how do we how do we pass this population? Where is it? In our blood. This is why once Satan gets sin in the first man blood. Every man, amen, has what? It's the bloodline. It passed through the bloodline. The Bible said all nation in, in Acts 17 was made from what? One source, one blood. Amen? It's a template. It's a template. It's the bloodline. You're able to just keep copying like money, like how oh, you use a, the template and keep doing it. So when you baptize with Jesus, when you're resurrected, you stay in the spirit. You stay away from the contaminated what? Blood. Yes, amen. So this is why when Thomas can put his hand in his ribs and his hand, he was in the spirit. There's no what? Blood. Blood. Mm. So when Jesus said, don't go after the flesh. It's dangerous. It's a contaminated and a curse at what? Blood. Mm. Amen. But when you stay in the spirit, you operate. Amen. In that which, amen, it's called the life-giving spirit. Amen. 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 Can transmit life instead of poison contamination. Mm. Amen. So these are the reasons Satan wants you after the flesh because you can stay in the blood that he is already what? Infected. He infected that bloodline. And Christ wants you to stay in the spirit because you are away from the blood that is infected. Mm -hmm. But in the spirit of life. Mm -hmm. Oh, may we stay in the spirit. Amen? Amen. Oh, may we stay out of the separated world. Mm -hmm. That system is our enemy, actually. Mm -hmm. To embrace the system is to embrace the enemy. Amen? Amen? In Jesus' name. Let's preach. Testimony is because you're staying in the spirit and therefore you're triumphing, the Bible says, over the world and the evil one. Amen. Because you're not in the contamination and you're not in the system. Thank you. You understand? If you are under the system, you can't be above it. You know? This is like Christ said, you exist in the world, but you're in the spiritual world. Amen. Amen. You're not of the blood, we actualize it this morning, of the flesh or of a natural father. Mm -hmm. You are in the spirit. You're sons of God. The same spirit as in Jesus God put in you. Mm -hmm. So when God look at you, he don't see the Adamic bloodline, the contaminated. Mm -hmm. He see the spirit of Jesus. Amen. He see you without blood. Amen. And the only blood he see upon you is Jesus, pure son. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He wants you to see yourself Amen. properly. Amen. Satan always wants you to see yourself in the blood and in the world because then he can conquer you. And God can know. See yourself in Jesus, pure blood. Amen. And the spirit. If you can catch this principle, how effective you'll be as a church. Amen. Amen. And you will overcome. May you be counted among the overcomers. Amen. Testimony day is you applying the blood of Jesus and the spirit of Jesus. And as a result, you'll see you start to win. Amen. And then you can't help but shout, Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. Praise. Amen. Amen. When you're not winning, it's typically you're in the world and you're in the cursed blood. Mm -hmm. You're in your flesh and you're in the world. Mm -hmm. And therefore, Amen. The spirit suffer at loss because you are not in the right places. Amen. You're driving the car kind of backwards. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
And this is when the Lord says, disciplines you. The discipline comes because you're, you're slipping in the wrong places. Mm -hmm. So he kind of does something, deals with you to stop you from going there. Amen? Amen. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. How merciful art thou. Mm. We thank you. You are the one that brings us here. You say, where two or three gather, you are there in the midst. Lord. In Abedinda. Praise. How we love to worship Hallelujah. you, glorify you, and magnify you. You eternally must be exalted. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, the 24 elders and the four living creatures, mm. they worship you all day. Sing it. Reverence your yes. name. They have regard for your name by shouting, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I ask praise. Holy, holy, holy. You are holy. And we join in the procession. We, your sons, Father, who you have declared your son because you have taken the same spirit that is in Jesus and placed into us. We don't belong to the, to the, to the blood or, the, or, or, or that of a physical flesh. impulse or to the flesh or that of a natural man, yeah. but we belong to the one true living God. We are co here with Jesus. We share in his resurrection, Amen. and we share in his suffering. We share in his inheritance. Amen. Father, we so thank you. We just want to praise you and worship you. So we join the procession with the 24 elders and the four living creatures to worship you all the days of our existence Amen. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We thank you for this opportunity as you prepare and format our hearts and our mind, Father, to receive your word. Oh, you let your words dwell in us so richly that it overflow, oh, Father, to give us light and understanding. You are forever the lamp of our feet and the light of our path. Oh, you break us away from all the control and the conforming ways of this world so we not participate in the world system and renew the entirety of our mind with the knowledge of Jesus that we stay in the spirit, do not lust it after the flesh, and we stay out of the world that would separate us because we have the love of the Father. Oh, you direct our heart into your love Jesus. and you fill us with Christ's patience and perseverance. Amen. You grant us grace to recognize your love and to show and manifest your love for those that are in love are in the Father. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said anyone that, amen, in love is in the Father. Oh, Father, through the love we have for you, we overcome it, that which opposes you and stands as an offense to you. Help us to love you. Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. usher, direct our heart yes, into Lord. your love. For love compel and control and urge us yes, yes. to do the will of the Father. Lord yes. Jesus, you renounce yourself. You said in Matthew 16, 24, if anyone will follow you, he must deny himself, yes, pick up the cross. He must not choose self. So he's a constant temptation and susceptible to the enemy, but he must choose you. You said you did not come to do your will, but to do the will of the one who sent you. Hallelujah. The Lord sent us here to do his will. It is lack of love why we choose our will and the devil will and the flesh will. Oh, keep us in thy love. Yes, Lord. Paul said, I will show you something even more excellent than wisdom and everything else. Um, and that is the uh, love of amen, the amen, Father. Amen. Glory, yes. Oh, Father, saturate us in your love. Mm -hmm. And if you saturate us in your love, we will not walk it after the world of that which is an offense to you. Mm -hmm. We will exist here. But we are forever in the spirit and with you and in you, having our being, moving and living in you. And as we abide it in you, stay out of the flesh and the world, we will produce much fruit and keep on producing fruit to your glory, honor and praise. And because we lust it after the spirit and walk it in the spirit, not gratifying the flesh and consistently becoming familiar with the spirit and acquainted with the spirit, we shall glorify and magnify you, worship you in spirit and truth. To you shall be the glory the honor, the exalted praise, and the adoration. Mm. Lord, we so love you and appreciate you. Help us to cling to the Spirit. Help us to walk. Father, you said we, according to Hebrews 6, 5, we get the first taste. Mm. In the kingdom age, all will walk after the Spirit because flesh and blood cannot enter the kingdom. The flesh cannot enter, amen, and the contaminated blood cannot enter. But we, even before the kingdom dispensation, we can already be walking according to the kingdom age in the spirit. We get the first, the foretaste of that which is to come. Amen. Oh Lord, you shall have a world without the contaminated blood and without the flesh consistently insisting in its own way to do its own thing. 
Father, you describe, you said the desires of the flesh, it is selfishness, it is greed, it is sexual vice, it is everything that is corrupt. So you said, that corrupt flesh or the contaminated blood shall not enter thy kingdom. And you say, we who are your spirit children, we are to be in your kingdom now. Out of the world and out of the flesh and the blood. Mm -hmm. Father, today, let there be a testimony. Mm. Let there be a revelation of the love of the Father. Amen. Let there be a revelation of what it is to walk after the spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let there be a revelation to believe, to cling, to rely, to depend on Jesus so we keep overcoming the world and the evil one. We commit all things into your hands in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we say, Amen. Amen. It's good to have written so that those that walk before us can left record so, so that we can know how it works. If not, it will be happening like Nikki, but there will be no context. Mm -hmm. So you have context. It's like a manuscript of uh, work. So everybody do it and learn it the same. The same that we just pass in our time. Mm -hmm. You understand? And after we got a new generation, we'll pass with the same text. Mm -hmm. And what I'm so happy to hear um, is how the Lord love is working in you. Mm -hmm. That man that she see, and we pass them all the time, that's just a man who received contaminated blood. Mm -hmm. That's just a man that is infused with the world system. Mm -hmm. Amen? And as a result, once he stayed in that blood and that world system, he's crippled, cut off from his spiritual ability. Mm -hmm. Amen. So the Bible said, you must see it as just someone trapped in the world and someone trapped in the contaminated blood mm -hmm. who does not know how to move in Jesus' blood and in the spirit and does not know how to, how to have a relationship to love the Father. Mm -hmm. So you have to pray to the love of the Father, pray for him to get out of the flesh yeah. and pray for him to get out of the contaminated blood. Because once he get out, do you understand? He will start to try out. And as a result, the Bible says you must, you must realize Christ died for everyone that has the contaminated blood. Christ does die for everyone that operates in the world system. Christ died for everyone that falls to the flesh. You understand? We get, how could they be like this? It's how they were formed. That's what the enemy is good at. Mm -hmm. And we, the church, have to pray and to work hard to get them out of there. Mm -hmm. Listen this, this to this piece of verse. Yeah. For the love of Christ control and urges and impels, because we are of the opinion and conviction that if one died for all, then all died. Mm. And he died for all, so that all those who live might live no longer to and for themselves, mm -hmm. but to and for him who died and was raised again for their sake. So notice it. Adam, through Adam, all of us get contaminated blood. And through Christ then, then the whole Adamic nation died. And he said, those of you now who live through me, you must live not for yourself. Live to get everything that died through Adam back to life. Mm -hmm. This is why he wants you out of the world. Your whole life is supposed to be focused, as Nikki said, everything that doesn't reflect Christ's life, everything that still has the contaminated blood, mm -hmm. how do you get Christ's blood, um, life, blood and life into it? This is the game. Mm -hmm. How do you get... Christ, because without Christ's blood, it cannot be accepted into the new creation. Mm -hmm. And then how do you get life? So Christ, so you, you, you who have my life, you do not live for yourself anymore. Mm -hmm. Meaning the world is not supposed to be you. The world is you live for you. You work for you. You save for you. Everything you do is for you. Christ said, no, I'm eliminating that blood and that mm -hmm. flesh that makes you behave that way. Amen. I'm going to give you something that makes you live for everything Amen. that I create to have life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And as a result of that perspective, look at the next verse, verse 16 says. Verse 16. Consequently, from now on, we estimate and regard no one from a purely human point of view. Mm -hmm. In terms of natural standards of value, no, even though we once did estimate Christ from a human viewpoint and as a man, yet now we have such knowledge of him that we know him no longer in terms of the flesh. There go, we don't consider nobody anymore mm -hmm. as just a contaminated person mm -hmm. just in the world. We just contaminate as a potential for Christ's life. Yes. Amen. You no longer look at somebody, oh, you're just a woman, you're just yes. sinful, you're just mm -hmm. evil, you're yes. just stupid. Yes. No. We just go, you know, understand, he said, we got the knowledge and we know they have the Adamic blood, we know they have the world system and in the flesh. Mm -hmm. But you must look at what does God want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Christ died so all of them can go down and all can be mm -hmm. raised. So when you look at him, you're supposed to see opportunity and potential. Yes. You're supposed to go, yes. Jesus won his life in you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And through his blood, you're going to enter a relationship with God. And you will no longer live you know, in the contamination in the world or in the flesh. You're going to live in the spirit. And you're supposed to be in the world. Whatsoever mm -hmm. it takes to get them transitioned into the kingdom of God. You do not look at them as just a human that is contaminated, yeah. selfish, yeah. amen, and walk after mm -hmm. the flesh. Mm -hmm. yes, you gotta, um, yes, that is a fact, but you must also know another fact why Jesus died, yes. to get them into life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is church. Mm -hmm. This is daily working out the issues that stop you from doing this. Mm -hmm. yes. amen? amen? If you look at them as just human, you'll go, your mother will always like that. You were always like that. You'll never change your life. be just the way you are. Yes, if they stay that way and you don't help, you probably will. But God will hold you accountable. Why didn't you do something? You know what, what I wanted. Amen? Yeah. There's another fact. It's a finished word. Yes. You go, go after the new, what I want, my new creation, my new world to look like. Amen? Mm -hmm. Just don't see that. The fact is like seeing them through the eyes of Christ's love. Yes, the way we see them now. He, see, he don't see man see himself as still alive and full of the blood. As far as Christ's concerned, the cursed blood is done. The flesh is done. The world is done. He's just waiting on his church and mankind to catch up. In essence, mm -hmm. he see the flood of Noah already. Mm -hmm. But man hasn't quite realized the flood is upon them. Yeah. You, you, you understand? Yes. Be because this, 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 is, this is the way of, you, you know what, when he had this process, he, he said that. Uh, the Israelite, we know, was a figure, the first church. And they were supposed to show how God was going to um, redeem the world. And the Israelites had to go up against some people called the Amalekites. Mm -hmm. And how, they, how the Amalekites were represented as what many like to say, the flesh. They're, they're, they're a type of fire of the flesh. How they had to overcome the, these Amalekites was prayer. They were too big, too strong. was prayer. You understand? And Egypt, we know, in those days represent the form of the world. And what did God do with Egypt? Oh, God figured the world should be do is drowned in the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. The world system, this is why God said, the world passed away. I'm drowned in this system. Mm -hmm. I'm destroying it. Mm -hmm. As far as God concerned, this world system that reflects Egypt has to be only deserved to go under the sea. Mm -hmm. This is the only place. Amen. But then the Israelites had to go to Canaan. Mm -hmm. And oh God tell them, He said, I ain't gonna just give you all the land or the animal will take over. He got little by little, one enemy after another, I will let you conquer. The Canaanites. Mm -hmm. So the Canaanites is conquered by battle. Mm -hmm. The world is conquered by drowning into the Dead Sea. Mm -hmm. And the Malachites is conquered by prayer. Mm -hmm. The flesh is conquered by prayer. The world ideas that is in the soul, the selfishness, is death, crucifixion. Amen? Mm -hmm. And the victory is just the way of the Canaanites were conquered. Mm -hmm. One enemy at a time. Mm -hmm. So as you see that person, you go... You know, this, this blood that's still in you is not supposed to be there, and this flesh that's still in you is not supposed to be and the world, and you pray that out and conquer the mm -hmm. enemy in that area. And the next person, and the, just like what the Israelites was called to do, mm -hmm. they were supposed to overcome the Malachites, amen? The system, world system of Pharaoh had to be broken, destroyed, swallowed up, and they had to go forth once they come out of the Red Sea to conquer the Canaanites. Mm -hmm. This is what God called in this church mm -hmm. consistently to do. Amen. So as far as Christ's concern, he goes, I don't see you as cursed blood anymore. I don't even see you as flesh, and I don't see you as the world system. I only see you as resurrected, because as far as I'm concerned, I have wiped out all of that on my cross. Mm -hmm. The sooner you realize it, the quicker we can go on to conquering the Canaanites, mm -hmm. conquering the enemy. Mm -hmm. So what keeps us trapped is we are still very, kind of trying to keep, what we tear down, imagine, uh, that's about a revenue to destroy the company destroyed this room and we're busy trying to put it back together mm -hmm. instead of move on to the new life mm -hmm. we're busy trying to stay in the flesh busy trying to stay in the cursed blood busy trying to stay in the world system but from god's perspective what enlightenment is he's trying to show you it's over mm -hmm. transition this is why christ said you're either with my party or what you're against me yes so you either accept, yes you either accept the new way mm -hmm. the new order mm -hmm. or you're against it the church is nothing more than them who have realized the new order, mm -hmm. or supposed to, and embracing it. Mm -hmm. There's no middle. Mm -hmm. We're either with the new system, since he resurrect, or we are against it. We're still trying to hold on to Adam, we're still trying to hold on to our flesh, mm -hmm. and we're still trying to hold on to the world. You see, this is the process. Can you read? Yes. 
this is your flesh. And I want you to realize why it can't enter the kingdom. God will never accept that. Why? It, it's the, the, no, understand the Amalekite. The Amalekite was the most dis, despicable people. They'll burn their own children, sacrifice their own children. They're all what's yourself. That's the flesh. They were terrible. You understand? Mm -hmm. And that's what the flesh is like. Yeah. But I say, walk and live habitually in the Holy Spirit, responsive to and controlled and guided by the Spirit. Then you will certainly not... Pay run. close attention. Read the scripture. Don't please, church. Mm -hmm. As Jesus said, those who have ears, let them hear. Listen how you stop the flesh. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. It says, but I say, walk and live habitually in the Holy Spirit. Habitually meaning all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Responsive to and controlled and guided by the Spirit. Then you will certainly not gratify the cravings and the desires of the flesh, of human nature without God. Your Amen. flesh is like a, one of the unfortunate things or fortunate. Our flesh is like an animal. It's instinctual. Yes. Yeah. And they said the way to stop this, this hungry, instinctual being always want to be eating, touching, smell. It said you have to stay in the spirit out. Habitually mean all the time. Mm -hmm. But he said every time you stop doing this, the flesh will take over. Mm -hmm. All you can think about is food and all you can think about is stimulation. You can't help because it is a nature that doesn't care about God. Mm -hmm. It doesn't care. Mm -hmm. you, you understand? It cares about what it wants. So the way to stop this and to care about what God, you have to stay in the spirit. Yes. And yes. responding to the spirit. We are always responding either to the flesh or the spirit or the world. We always respond to something. Mm -hmm. Every one of us. And sometimes we fluctuate. Yeah. Amen. Please continue. Yes. 70. Thanks, sir. For the desires of the flesh are opposed to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And the desires of the spirit are opposed to the flesh. Amen. Godless human nature. For these are antagonistic to each other, mm -hmm. continually withstanding and in conflict with each other, so that you are not free, but are preventing from doing what you desire to do. You will never stop. They fight each other. They have, two, they have, they have enmity against each other. They hate yeah. each other. Because the flesh see the spirit just want you to go after God and you don't get what it wants. Mm -hmm. And the spirit see this as the thing that stop you from giving God what he wants. So they fight to no end. The one you focus on wins. Yes. Amen. Continue. Yeah. But if you are guided, led by the Holy Spirit, you are not subject to the law. Mm. Now the doings, practices of the flesh are clear, obvious. There are immorality, impurity, indecency, idolatry, sorceries, enmity, strife, jealousy, Anger, ill temper, selfishness, division, dissensions, mm. party spirit, mm. factions, sex, with part with peculiar opinions and heresies. Mm. Anytime you see these behaviors, understand where they're from. Mm. They're in your flesh itself. It's it's it's, it's like an animal. Yeah. It cares about everything it like the anger, the rage, the, the the obsession with sensuality, it's all flesh. It's just like an animal. Mm -hmm. Just like an animal. What's supposed to separate us from an animal is that we are born of the higher order. Mm -hmm. We can go in the spirit. We can go to a place where these, 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 these characteristics doesn't dominate us. Amen. Amen. But you can look at someone and the love can flow. Mm -hmm. what, it's not the love is not there. It's just because you're in the flesh. The spirit love doesn't get satisfied. Right. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. Amen. It all depends on where you are in you. Mm -hmm. Just like a car gear. We can you need a gear. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I'm going to continue. Yeah. Envy, drunkenness, carousing, and the like. Mm. I warn you beforehand, just as I did previously, that those who do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. Yeah. Now that was the Malachite. The Malachite was like that. Mm -hmm. I got to, these people can't keep, they, they, don't, they will never do my will. They can't enter the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. you know, so you know, don't forget, we all have a Malachite side of flesh. The Bible says, oh, not to fulfill it is go after the Spirit. Mm -hmm. If you keep going after the Spirit, that side will stay on the cross. Yeah. But every time you forgot to desire the thing, every time you stop praying, oh, Lord, show me your will, what do you want me to do? 
Every day, every second, you should be praying, oh Lord, show me your will today and grant me the grace that is in Jesus that I will walk after your spirit, your will. Every time you stop praying this prayer, you're either going to slip in the world or you're going to slip in the flesh. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're out of the kingdom. Yeah. Yes. Amen. You're out of the kingdom. Amen. 22. Right here, right here. Nothing okay. else. You have your communion just before I pray for the body, remember. It is his blood that brought you in right relationship, that broke you from the world and the flesh. Amen. This is why Christ said, this is my body. Eat. You understand? And when he leads you from that flesh, he gives you his flesh, the one without blood. Blood. Amen. So as you take the communion, you should be in constant gratitude. Oh Lord, by your blood. Amen. My rebel rebelliousness was atoned for. Amen. I'm in right relationship. We can stand before God in no other way but Hebrews chapter 10, verse 19 to 22. By his blood we stand. Mm. Because we can't stand before God and say we didn't throw off our load. Mm. We are condemned because every one of us have thrown off the load. Mm. Every one of us have sided with the enemy of God. But we stand on the blood as one for giving of our rebellion. And we recognize his body, that we're not in the sinful body, the amen that Adam give us. Mm -hmm. So when you take your communion, you should be in constant thanksgiving for the blood and the body. Let's get ready for communion. Let me pray for us. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your body. Father, we, your members, have become the body of Christ. That which he saved unto himself, Father. That which he, the sanctifier, have sanctified, Father. What the one that is the sanctifier, we who are being sanctified, we have the same Father. Oh, Father, we so thank you. Let this communion be pleasing and acceptable to you. And as the, your church come up to, to have communion, bring them into remembrance that this is your body that was breaking, broken for their healing. And it was your blood that atoned for them and brought them into a right relationship, right standing, Father, with God, Father. Oh, Father, we thank you for this communion. May it be always a remembrance, a memorial, Father, unto you, Father. For just like you told the Israelites in Joshua, each one, each man from one of the tribe of Israel must take a rock and take it out of the sea when they cross the Jordan and build up, Father, a momentum, a statue to remember, to tell their children, of all the Lord and moving them, so we keep the communion to remember Christ's body was broken and we were healed from the contaminated blood and the flesh with its insistent demand because we have no life instead of that blood, Father. We have life and we have the body of Christ instead of the flesh, Father. And we so thank you for this. And we thank you for the blood covenant that brought us close to God where we can experience the love of the Father that overcome it. Huh? world. Father, let this communion move them and let them get the revelation of it in alignment with your purposes. We commit all things into your hands in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen.